Hey guys, hey, how are you? Oh my goodness, welcome to Coffee with Kathy's um, just random, random time. Um, and I'm gonna wait for a few of you to get into your seats and then we'll get actually chatting and starting. And I've got just some things I want to talk to you guys about. Hopefully to get you guys, no, not hopefully. I always say, um, I always say hope is for those of you that are on a deserted island. So we don't hope. We just work and make it happen or not. And if we don't make it happen, we tweak it and re-look at it. Hey, Hillary. Hey, Samantha. How are you guys? Welcome. Welcome. Good afternoon. It is afternoon. Wow, the morning has gotten gone by so fast. Listen, my daughter, Kelsey, my daughter that's 28, I have two. I have um, two boys and two girls. So my daughter that is 28, Kelsey, she is arriving today, this afternoon, and so I'll be taking off tomorrow and spend the whole day with her. And she will then spend Wednesday, she's bringing a girlfriend in, Megan. She lives in um, Erie, Pennsylvania, Kelsey does. So anyway, so she's bringing her girlfriend, Megan, in, and they're gonna be just, you know, going around, visiting the sites, etc. So tomorrow, I have her. I have her and Megan all to myself, so I'm looking forward to it. Hey, Jackie, how are you? Yes, Jennifer, good afternoon. Let's just give it another few minutes. So let me ask you a question while we're waiting. Are you, when you wrap your gifts, do you guys do it with a box? I mean, do you do gift wrapping with a box, tissue paper, or do you use a bag? that's got tissue paper, et cetera. What do you choose? And I know sometimes, hey Sandra, I know sometimes it depends on the gift itself, but what do you prefer um, to use a gift bag or to use wrapping paper and boxes? Just curious. And you guys, guys know why I do this, box. I do this because this is what you guys are gonna wanna do as you're going live, whether it's your personal page or your business page or your events, you want to just start the conversation going while people are sitting there and getting them engaged while you're waiting for others to grab their seat. Hey, Samantha. And you know, you guys are going to be hearing some great ideas for Samantha from Samantha. I just messaged her and she just gave me a lot of ideas. So I'll bring them on today's call. I wasn't planning on it, but then Samantha and I got to chatting about something else. And, um, and I'm like, oh my gosh. Let me ask you some more questions. So I actually interviewed Samantha on the side, if you will, for this call. Samantha has really spotty Wi-Fi. Trust me, I begged her to come on the call with us, but she can't because of her spotty Wi-Fi. So we're going to get her ideas from the call. So, okay, so um, Hillary's the box, tissue paper. Yep. Yeah. And Sandra is gift bag. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and Jackie said she loves watching her boys unwrap and the mess. Yes. And I think I also might have asked you another question what other time. I don't know. For those of you that have young children and you allow them to believe in Santa Claus, do you wrap the gifts that Santa Claus brings or do you just put them under the tree unwrapped because they're gifts from Santa Claus? Tiffany says she prefers the bag, but hubby says the kids like unwrapping boxes. Yeah, I would think with kids it would be a box wrapped, but you know, Tiffany, I love taking um, really cute bags, and I do all kinds of things in the bag, outside of the bag, use little um, little different types of ornaments and gift tags. I mean, it's not just stuff the bag. I like to decorate the bag, and um, there's so many cute things you can find now in um, Michaels in their section that where people are creating villages and you know just kind of things like that all right so let's get started since you guys are here first and foremost um santa brings wrapped in different paper oh okay all right that's a good idea jackie i always did it where they didn't santa did not wrap it i didn't want to have to wrap it i guess <laughs> they would come out and their eyes would light up because of the gifts that they would see that were from santa claus because they weren't wrapped okay so, um, so a couple things. Well, first of all, I want to just remind you guys, and I know I've talked about this numerous times, but I think it's worth um, refreshing, a, a, a refresher. You guys always want to share the benefits of our products 
the features are not going to make that relationship, that heart tug. And if you have any trouble figuring out what the benefits are, a couple things, you can go into the community group, you can hear the stories, read the stories of people, you can see the before and after, those are the benefits of a particular product. When you talk about the benefits of our business opportunity, it's all about what you use your paycheck for. You might want to poll in the, in the community group and even the Coffee with Kathy and say, can some of you share what you use your paycheck for? And then you want to put clips in your testimonies on, in your, in your, um, in your in-home parties. You can read from those clips. It doesn't always, in fact, it shouldn't be always about you. In your Facebook parties, when you come to the recruiting segment, you can put those clips in and just use, use first names. So that might be something you guys really start to embrace for 2018 and beyond, is you think about a feature and what is the benefit to that feature. Because did you know that um, in your brain, that you know you talk about right brain, left brain, et cetera, but did you know that when you communicate um, with a benefit that, that makes a, com connect, a emotional connection, these, this is, this is used, you're an entirely different part of the brain is being used. And so, um, and so what happens is when you get that person emotionally engaged, then they make decisions emotionally and they follow up with it logically. It's not that we want to have any emotional purchasers, but we want them to understand because we do believe in our products and in our business opportunity we want them to get emotionally attached to the story. Remember, we're paid storytellers. First and foremost, we're paid storytellers. So if you tell them a story and people are like, oh my goodness, that like that, they are more apt to make a decision with a positive spin or positive um, with a yes than not. And then again, what you do is you justify it, you help them back it up with the logic. So I want you guys to really work on that in, two th in the rest of this year for our 2018 and beyond. Because I see too many, um, you know, start for this much money. Why do they want to start? What is the benefit of starting, even with a kit that you do, a, if you do a reduced discount on the kit, or you offer a product at a discount, you must tell a story about that. So then there, that's the logic. The discount is the logic. Why they want to join, why they want to buy the product, that's the emotional. Remember, it uses a different part of the brain. And I've always said, and I have always known this, women make decisions with their hearts. Now that's not to say you might not have some women that are very logical. You might not have some men that are very emotional. However, as generally speaking, we make decisions with our heart. So I don't know why we would go in and say, this is a great product and you get it for 10% off without telling a story first. And then you have a call to action wrapping up the story that says, and by the way, today, I'd love to be able to share a discount with you on this particular product so you see the same results. What results? How can you say that if you don't tell a story, right? Now, I need to make sure you guys are in that planning group. I don't see a lot of activity there, and I'm not sure why. Because right now, I don't want you guys to advertise anything on your Facebook walls, in your business pages. In your community group, I don't really care. However, we're going to talk about community group on another call because we're going to be redoing your community groups. We're not going to call them customer groups. We're going to redo them, but I digress. But I don't want you guys announcing anything about what's happening in January from the company. Now, it's not that you can't attach it to a story, but if you go into that planning for 2018, I have given you all your themes. I've given you all the verbiage, and I've given you all the conversations to direct message your friends, family, and your past hosts. And I want to make sure that your current hosts are thinking, referring you to friends that may not have made their party or may not have purchased, right? 
There's somebody in Avon, her name's, her name's Veronica, and I happen to have been following her for quite some time because she was the number one person in her e-business with, um, with, with Avon. I mean, for over seven years she's been with Avon and she's the number one sales rep in her e-store. Do you know how hard it is to sell from an e-store? How hard are you guys finding to sell from Facebook lot, Facebook parties, right? Well, this is what she's done. And she says you want to use the FROG, the FROG approach. And it's a FROG acronym. And it's a tool that will reach out to those individuals in your warm market. But I think it can be used for everybody, but especially your warm market. Your warm market, guys, are those individuals that have not responded or ever had a party with you, right? Because now again, what we're doing this month is we are filling our January calendar with in-home parties. We will get to the Facebook parties, I promise you, but I don't want you guys to be, I don't want the shiny object. The shiny object would be like, oh, I'm gonna do this. No, we are standing very, very firm on a very firm platform of in-home parties. And for those of you that say, Kathy, I've never done an in-home party, well then don't be on these calls here because I'm only feeling the in-home party experience and how it relates to those that you want to get the products into their hands. Because the only way you get them into your, their hands is yes, you could do one at a time at a Facebook party here, you know, spotty, or you could have six, eight, 10, 12 people and they all do it together. I mean, I don't know about you, but I would prefer to take my time, leave my house to go and meet 10, 12, 15 people in my host home and let my host then be an ambassador for my business, which she will. Remember, she's emotionally attached to you because you're in front of her and she's introduced you to her friends. There is no greater compliment. Yes, she does introduce you to her friends on a Facebook party, but they're not her connected friends. Listen, your host probably has a lot of things that she does with her friends physically in person. You want to be part of that group. Now, you don't want to leave out the people that are long distance friends of her, but you want to be part of the group, the friends that she does things with in person. And listen, I don't care who says, I don't know anybody. You can say, well, what if we started to look at some of the the ways that you communicate and business you do, what if we could find at least three friends or individuals that you might like to invite to have a, a facial, right? Because I was, the three friends could bring three friends, then you got six, right? And she meets three new people. That's the other thing. You're opening her world up to meeting three new people. All right, so let's go back to the FROGS acronym. So it's friends, it's relatives, Friends, relatives, occupation, geography, and social, right? Again, friends, relatives, occupation, geography, and social. So what you want to do is you want to look at this group, this these acronyms, and you want to reach out and look at who those people are in your in your acquaintance, in your in your Facebook, in your in your contact list of your phone. You want to be able to reach out to them. And listen, one of the things that I'm going to encourage you to do is just be very relationship connecting with them. You want to be able to say, you know, I wanted to let you know of some things that are going on. You know, if you enjoy to so have some samples, I'd love to send you. We can come up with the scripts. But the most important thing is you reach, you think about that warm market and you actually make a list, write it down. Create your why. What is your why, right? What is your why? And then you want to use um, this why to reach out to those individuals. I thought about you because I've been enjoying these products. These are some of the things I've been experiencing. I've been able to pay off or to do this with my family, with, the fi with my finances. I thought about you because. So, um, oh, Kim said her, her host from Saturday has set up her next event. Awesome. Yes. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. All right. So, um, so a couple things I want just to remind you of, again, you go into the, in the planning group, you set your notifications to all and you stay put in there because that's where I am giving you all the scripts, all the information, please. 
Now, the other thing I want to um, share with you guys, and I was reminded of this because Hillary and one of my best friends, Amanda, they started this Monday morning mom virtual Facebook live platform. And they go live every Monday morning at a certain time. It's different topics and different themes. Sometimes, you know, it's it's our business is, is woven into it. Like Amanda, my best friend, she's from Pampered Chef. She was one of my directors. And of course, um, Hillary is a brand new director with Lemongrass Spa. That's actually how I met Hillary is Amanda referred her to me. Anyway, so they weave information about their businesses, but it's not just about their business, but they do weave it at times, not every time, but at times they do weave it beautifully. Today, I think it was about makeup. I, I remember seeing it. I wasn't able to get on the thing. Now, what that reminded me of, and I'd share this in the past, but I think it's worth sharing because we've got a lot of new consultants. And for those of you that are team leaders and above, you might be thinking about this for one of your team members. So back in the, um, in the summer, and this was a story I shared with you guys, back in the summer, one of my friends who was with another company, her, with Pampered Chef, her um, best friend had just purchased a new house. And she said to Nicole, oh, I really want that cookware. I mean, who wouldn't want to open their cabinets in their kitchen and see this beautiful stainless steel cookware? Or maybe she had one of those racks atop the top that she wanted to hang her cookware from. And, um, and Nicole said, hey girl, you know you need to get together a party We'll come and let everybody see you're inside of your beautiful new home and you'll get the cookware at 50% off. Well, her husband nixed it. He was thinking of all these women traipsing into their house. And of course, his mind was going to maintenance, right? What he'd had to do before they got there, what he had to do after. And he was not having anything to do with it. So she lived about, um, I'm going to say 40 minutes from the call. So for Nicole to offer her to have a party at Nicole's house wasn't going to work. So this is what Nicole did. Nicole said to her girlfriend, I will, we will pick a, we will pick a recipe that we're going to do for your Facebook and your friends that are on Facebook. We'll create the event and we will give them the time and date that we'll be coming live from your beautiful new kitchen. So Nicole took a recipe. She went to her friend's house. She had already advertised, gave them little tips and played games, just probably 24 hours leading up to it. She went live at 7 o'clock in her friend's beautiful new kitchen. And um, all of a sudden, comments. And again, because she created a Facebook event, she was able to invite everybody. And she did not invite just those that like to cook. She did not invite just those that were long distance. She opened it up to everyone and she advertised, I am going to show you the inside of my house and specifically my kitchen. I'm going to teach, we're going to teach you how to make, let's say a taco ring because that's what's so famous. All right. So Nicole went over with the ingredients, just like you would go to a one-on-one -on -one with your customer, right? And um, she went live. So it was her and her her best friend, her friend that wanted that cookware. So you, you see where I'm getting? You don't have to limit the amount of live exposure, the amount of benefits to our products simply because someone that wants that skincare set and is not gonna pay full price and understands that she can get it at 50% off with simply a $300 party order, you don't wanna say, oh, you know what, I'm so sorry, I'd really love to be at your home and let your friends be at your home also virtually, but you know, you know, too bad. No, you say, because you can't have an in-home experience, I'm going to bring the in-home experience to you. We'll do a one-on-one -on -one and we will open it up to all your friends that are on Facebook live and we'll do it live. So again, you create the event, you give those little, give little splashes, little teasers, tips, techniques, um, you know, things that are getting people to say, oh my gosh, I have so got to be live to watch that makeup tutorial or that how to wash your face or how to do a hand scrub. It doesn't matter, guys. Pick one demo. I don't want you to do a three ring circle. I don't want you to take her from her kitchen with hand spas and then go to a foot spa. No, pick one topic 
have that one topic be the the um the the demonstration the class that you teach that one topic and i want you to go live and listen you can do that between christmas and new year's you do not have to wait until holiday delivery because it's after holiday delivery these individuals after they get finished their shopping they are now into a mindset of buying for them and it's not frivolous things think about it everybody has to have moisturizer everybody has to have um you know makeup they're going to be putting them in their carts at target at whole foods at walmart why would you not give them the opportunity to have take an inventory of what products are they running low on what are the expiration dates of those products you could even take the top 10 list of products to avoid you could have each person bring one snap it bring it and post it and then the person that you draw the name for can get that product replacement product either free or you everybody that snaps a picture gets 10 percent off that replacement product right so again, there's so many things that we can do in home that you can create in her home or in your home. I mean, I don't even care if you bring her to your home, but you do want to go live with that demo with her as a model, whatever you choose or she chooses. I mean, is it a brow tutorial? And again, guys, I have given you the words on brows and eyes in the, the planning group. I've given you a tutorial a com conversation about charcoal in the planning group. All my language is there. I want you guys to make sure you are over there because without that verbiage, and it's not that you have to use my verbiage, but you have to understand what I've, I've how I've used it because it's not announcing. It's direct messaging, right? So again, if you're direct messaging, you'll use that as an invitation on that Facebook invitation, on that Facebook event, when you're doing that one-on-one -on -one live for her and for her friends. So again, don't think a Facebook party has to start out with you being the, having somebody in the host. You can start out with a one-on-one -on -one and then you say to her, what I'd like to do is open it up. Or you say to her, listen, I've got this great idea. I just learned from that, our crazy you know, national trainer, Kathy, and she does this. I'd love to be able to try it with you. What do you think? I mean, most people are so excited about doing something out of the box. So let me go back. So I think Nicole told me when it was all said and done, during that night, she included the link so they could go ahead and shop and shop and direct ship, etc. But I think by the time, I think she said it was either $700 that night or by the time she closed the party, it was $700. But she only did one day before teaser, 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 contest games. Then she did the reminding them, you know, an attendance only special. If you come in live, just like an in-home attendance only special, you get this. And then she next day is when she became the, well, I don't think she did, but I would have become the personal shopper where I would say, listen, if you allow me to help you with your shopping, I will give you a flat rate shipping. Now, again, you're holding that, 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 that um, order hostage maybe but again if you get somebody where you're their personal shopper you can say to them as i taught you guys to do as you're taking their order right you don't say okay next what else you just say next as you don't uh -huh. then what's next you that's the language as they're giving you one item the language is okay what's next or what else because as you hear them hesitate oh you know i better stop say well why don't we do this We'll stop, but all the things that I can tell, you're just like, I really want those, right? I hear you, I hear it, and your nonverbal, uh, verbal, you know, silence. I hear that, right? And they're like, yeah, there's a lot of things they have on my list. Let's do this. Where do you live? Why don't, and then you offer to do an in-home party. Listen, in-home parties first, or one-on-one -on -one where you go live, right? I do not want you to invite them to be a um, Facebook shopper, a Facebook host until you've been able to determine by looking at their Facebook, are they even on Facebook enough that they would be successful? You know, guys, no one signs up to be a host to have three people respond, whether it's in home or it's live. It doesn't matter. That's the number one stressor of every single direct sales host. 
they, they drive away or they think in their mind after they date the party, I'm telling you the truth, I wonder if anybody will show up. And our Facebook hosts are no different. And I actually think there's more challenge there because they're competing with all the Facebook ads. Can I tell you how many things I have purchased for the holidays with a Facebook ad? I would love to be able to purchase all from my direct sales friends, but I'm the shiny object person. Oh my gosh, that's on special. I need to try. I just bought a bra, a slimmer bra. because, And I know my friends sell ruby ribbon, right? But it was too good to turn up, pass up. That's what you're, you're competing with at this time of year, especially. So why would you not do a little bit of a twist and go in somebody's home? Whether it's a one-on-one, -on -one, you're live, or it's a six, eight, ten people, right? I mean, that's the best use of your time. The results you're going to get back are far greater than if you struggle with that host. I mean, she doesn't know what she doesn't know. And it's just hard for her. Okay, let me take questions and I'm going to go share um, some of the stuff that Samantha. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. I also want to make sure that you guys are understanding that the, the end of shopping for us, the, the, the deadline, is not the end of the connection with your friends. Did you see my post? I put it in the community group and I should not have done that because I went back to make a, a modification and it was like 15 posts down. And um, it was about a cookie exchange where you do it as a giving back. So you do a cookie exchange. Well, that doesn't have to be by the, the 11th. A cookie exchange, people don't start baking their cookies until it gets closer to Christmas because they want their Christmas cookies fresh. So you could do a cookie exchange where all the cookies get to a women's shelter or to a nursing home, right? I don't know if they do anything with nursing homes. If they um, No, they're probably fine accepting cookies. But again, don't think, oh, we're at, we're out of we're out of business now or my clothes sign is up because our our deadline for shipping is the 11th no it's not about always selling it's about you branding yourself and you giving back with things other than an exchange of cash right all right um all right let me see what kind of questions and comments we have um okay I've got still gift wrap things. Good, 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 good. You know, one of the things Kim said, her host from Saturday has set her up next event. One of the things that Glenny lists, she was so smart. I said to Glenny, with Pampered Chef, I always rebooked my host because two things would happen. First of all, my host always had people that didn't attend, always. And the next month's host special and guest special was so different that I always said to her, why don't we think about rebooking you you'll get an extra fifteen dollars you'll get to take advantage of the host special and and this time with lemongrass spa i would say to her and we did a facial class next month we could be a friday night girls night out or girls night in and we do foot spas do you notice i said friday night i will never do a foot spa ever monday through thursday not going to happen because women who work outside the home which you're speaking to a lot of women do not have that time for you to have a teachable moment, which you have to because they should be called classes or you should generate the, the idea that you're going to come in and teach them. So you need to make sure that you have those teachable moments or you're lying to them. I'm going to come in and teach you how to take care of your feet, right? And some of the things about looking away, looking for on the labels of the products you're going to be adding to your um your closet. I call it go from the classroom to the closet. So if you're not giving those teachable moments, those tips and techniques that we already know, right? We know them. They don't. Then you're not, your word is your bond. You're not giving them that value add that you promised your host that you could. You can't do that with a foot spa on a weeknight. Now, a Friday night with the girls, night in, um, John A is loving me for that because that's what she advertises you are going to be able to have that whole Friday night with a relaxation, right? And then Saturday, you can do that, and Sunday, you can do it, because the window of opportunity for them to be really relaxed and for you to be able to let them experience that full, full spa without you saying, okay, let's go to the catalog. Listen, when they're having a foot spa, they're not wanting you to talk about selling or even you can you can drizzle to teachable moments about you know why you exfoliate for sure, but
But when you really get to the catalog, that's when they should be wrapping up and then you give them the catalog and the lap board and the wish list and that's your time to take them on a tour or the aisles of the catalog, right? Okay, so um, anyway, I forgot how I even got on that rant, but I do apologize. Oh, so, oh, so Kim said her host book. So I said to her, why don't we do a Friday night girls night in? You had about seven people that weren't able to attend. We can invite the ones that already already sat at this event that came and we'll give them a pass. Their admission ticket is bring a friend. They can leave their checkbooks at home because they've already purchased and they bring a friend. That's their admission ticket. They'll have the entire experience of this foot spa and they'll be able to get the attendance only special and they're bringing a friend and they get the bring a friend special. So you wanna rebook your host by having her acknowledge not all of her friends were able to experience it. Listen, you can go back and you should go back and circle back and say, we're sorry you're not, you weren't able to make it. Here's some of the specials we went over. In fact, you could go live and share those specials, etc. However, if you offer them the experience to come back to your host home, you're going to have bigger sales for sure, right? Now, again, you can't do this with Facebook parties. It's not going to work. Your host is not going to be excited about doing another Facebook party, but she will be excited about having a small group of friends over. Remember, if she invited 30 and let's say 8 to 10 showed up, she's got all those other individuals. So there are two smaller shows. Yeah. And Jennifer and I, Hayden and I talked last week um, when I interviewed her, smaller parties generate more relationships, more team members, and more bookings. Your sales might be a little bit lower, but you certainly have a lot more business building that comes from those small, smaller, smaller parties. Okay, let's see. Um, easy meal and five minute makeup. Oh, that's what Hillary did this morning. Easy meal and five minute makeup. And that makes sense because Amanda is Pampered Chef and Hillary is Lemongrass Spa. So it absolutely makes sense that they would advertise and and train and teach about easy meals and five minute makeup. Love it. Now listen, if you have a friend in direct sales, grab her. If she's in another company, grab her and do the same type of thing. These are the ideas you want between after hour after hour um, cut off. You don't have to be thinking. I mean, people can buy and they will buy, but you've got that whole month, the remaining month of December that you could be working and there's no stress because you're not saying, well, you could say I need that additional sales, but you really shouldn't. You should go for the relationship connectors and for building in 2018 and beyond. If you get, get less, put less um, emphasis on sales, I think your entire I think your your whole makeup, your whole makeup, your 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 um heart, your you know the dynamics of your your body language changes when you're not going for a specific reason. You just like to see what could come from it, right? Oh, you'd be shocked. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me see who else said something. I've done a lot of purchases in Facebook ad this season too. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Kira, you have no idea. You have no idea. I mean, I got the most, the greatest slimmer bra that I ever could could imagine. And it was like, uh, you know, again, I just like, oh, I'm going to try that. Oh my gosh. I'm the shiny object. And you're, you have a lot of customers the same way. All right. So let's go into, um, let's go into Samantha's comment. So I love the fact that Samantha took the time to share with me. And the first thing I, and I'll, sh and I'll post her graphics, because the first thing I saw that really just blew my mind is she posted something that she did um, off with Vistaprint. And with Vistaprint, what she did is, hold on a second. Um, let me see here. We talk a lot, so I'm scrolling through these messages. All right, um, was that today? Oh, uh, no, nope, that was before. Um, okay, so she did, she, and she got a, um, she did a, um, a, a thing from Vistaprint. She created a, a, a card from Vistaprint and, um, she was so cute. She said, I don't mind. She has to go to her car to go live. And she said, her kids are napping. I'm like, oh my gosh, listen, she's a gem. I just... Listen, I just love it. Um, okay, let me find this here. 
she sends, um, oh, for some reason, I am just not, let me do a refresher. Let me get, see this in messenger. She had, she shared so many things. I apologize. I think I need to refresh my screen. Okay. All right. So what she did is she created a, um, a, a Invista print. She went in and had a, um, a thing that said, thank you for being a new customer. I appreciate your support. See reverse side for a gift. And on, then the reverse side was her information, her personal information, including your phone, email, mailing address. As a thank you, enjoy $5 off your next $40 order. Contact me and reference code. And she did a, a code. I'll post that because she did it over Vistaprint. Um, and she just said that she was getting so many results, like amazing results. And she, the, um, and then she went ahead and sent a, um, Christmas card for all customers who bought $50 or more in 2017. And then, um, and that was, <coughs> She wrote a note and, she, oh, okay. So um, it, so then that card, I, I read you the other card was for new consult, new customers. This card was, it looks like, um, I don't know what size it is. It looks like a postcard size, a three by five, four by six. Thank you for being a valued customer. Enjoy $10 off $75. Wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So I'll post both of these, um, but was really nice at it. Um, she, really nice about it is she had one for new customers and then she had another for existing customers. And I love it because what's really, really great about it is every time you get a new customer, I recommend that you send a thank you note out. So you could go ahead and order these from Vistaprint, order bulk and Vistaprint and um, get as soon as, as soon as you acquire a new customer, you have these, you you address it, you send it out immediately. You have them stacked on your desk, right? And then at the end of the year is when she sent this, um, this spend, ten enjoy $10 off your next $75. And again, those were Christmas cards she sent out. And that was, and she said, that's all she sent because the last time I think she said the last time she sent something and it was handwriting all the cards. She said, it just took forever. It took forever. Um, and again, the Christmas cards were all customers who bought $50 or more in 2017. So I love that. She qualified who she was going to send them to very intentionally. And everybody that was new got, got the, the new, the thanks for being, you know, new customers. And she said those new customer postcards have 90%. She gets a 90% success rate when they're coming back as a new customer. Um, as a thank you for being my new customer, enjoy $5 off your next $40 order. She's got a 90% success rate with that. Um, and again, it says, thank you for being a new customer. So I'll share these with you guys. But guys, between now and the end of the year, my purpose is to really get you into good, good habits. And good habits mean it's behavior. You want to reward behavior. You reward behavior you want repeated. So, and I tell the leaders that all the time. If you want behavior to report it, repeated, you reward it. Well, it's the same thing with your customers. If you want to see repeat of something, do something. And yes, you do have to reinvest some of your commission. So if you're not doing in-home parties and it's spotty with your Facebook parties, that's another reason to go in-home because your commission, your paychecks are much greater now, again, if you've been around for a while and you've got a really strong customer base, I might be preaching to the choir. You might, guys might be saying, I do a combination of both, Kathy, and I'm very successful. But I'm probably speaking to a lot of you that are either just starting or you are thinking I should have really started, which is a 30-day strong start with four parties. Um, and 2018 is the time to look at your current calendar, your current business, your current bank account, and say, could it look different? Do I want it to look different? Because if you do, now's the chance to stay with me, work with your leader, and we will make it different. Everyone started with the same kit. Really, what makes the difference between you and somebody that's making six, seven, eight, 
$1,100 is they are very intentional about behavior they want repeated. And that's how they're getting the paycheck. So again, that's what I'm here for all the time, but especially at this time of year, because we are creating habits that you want to be able to, to stay throughout the entire time you're in business with um, direct sales. Um, oh, yeah, Samantha said postcards, cheaper stamp with postcards. Absolutely. Yep. Mm hmm. Yep. So, yeah, and Samantha, thank you, Samantha, for answering these questions. Yep. Mm hmm. And Dre said, never thought about it that way. And Dre, I'm not sure what, but sometimes I say things and people are like, huh, never thought about it that way. And guys, it's because, and I've, and I've shared this with you in the past, it's, I'm not bragging, I'm just, Stating, I had over 7,000 in-home parties with Pampered Chef. I recruited, I mean, four to 500. I mean, it was just a lot. I developed a lot of directors because in my first 30 days, in the first 30 days of a new consultant's journey, I could tell who was worthy of my time to give them the opportunity to promote up into leadership because you know that's where the bet, the big bucks are, are made. That's where you could do four parties and make four to five hundred dollars, or you could do four parties and make eight or nine hundred dollars by having team members. And I knew during the first 30 days that they were worthy of that investment of my time to help them develop into leadership. Now, when I say worthy, my time, your time is is precious. The time you take with your team members is time you take away from your personal business and your family. So you only have a certain amount of time. You've got to parcel it out and you've got to give it to those that are deserving. And those that are deserving are the ones that start with four parties. Because if they have four parties, you know you can guide them from one party to another. If they don't have four parties, I'm not sure why you're even talking to them. I'm not sure why we even, I don't know what we have to say to consultants that don't have parties on their calendar. I mean, home office supports them. They're in your team page. That's the, that's the level of time you really can give them. Those that have parties, they deserve your time. They've earned it and they are worthy of it. So again, that's not to do anything other than just to give you guys permission not to feel like you're pulled in all sorts of directions. You look at who your team members are, who is working their business with parties, virtual and in-home parties, and they are deserving of your time. Anyway, okay. Um, you know what, Dre, it's not easy. Honestly, Dre, I think Facebook parties at any time of the year, there it's a tough nut to crack. It is tough nut to crack. And it's not because the tools aren't there. I mean, I can teach you until the cows come home how to do a successful Facebook party. However, it's that host and her friends. And that's when it gets dicey. It gets in iffy. It gets, I hope, right? Now, again, you know who those people are when you invite them to have a party through virtual, because they're always on Facebook. You see them activity every day, every day, every day. That's the perfect person to host a Facebook party with you. However, we're not selective in our invitation. We just open up to anybody. And you know what? I say this just about like direct sales. It is for anybody, but not everybody, because not everybody is gonna be successful. Being a host is for anybody, but not everybody. And especially with virtual parties, you have to make sure she is left with a good taste in her mouth. And the way she feels good is by the success she has with not only the sales, but the flurry of activity that takes place in her Facebook event. And therein lies where we are missing a piece of that entire puzzle we're putting together. All right. Okay, guys, that's what I wanted to share with you. Please make sure you tag your peeps because that whole concept about having one person and allowing that one person to have you do that one class with her, you know, facials, um, you could do an essential oil make and take with bath bombs 
and her world could be watching, right? So again, make sure you tag your peeps for that reason alone. And then again, this, the, what Samantha shared has been probably one of the best kept secrets. And, um, and then in the beginning, I shared how women think and how they shop and how they make decisions. And there's some of you that maybe that's a light bulb moment. Maybe you didn't even realize because you're not that relationship thinker. You're not that emotional thinker that you didn't realize that there are people out there that think emotionally, think with a different part of their brain and they're making decisions and then backing it up with logic. But their first choice, I mean, listen, why do you think I joined Pampered Chef 23 years ago? Because I was mesmerized by a bread crock and the fact that she made $400 doing four parties. I mean, oh my gosh. And she told me what she used her money for. Oh my goodness, right? So again, it was like I was connecting, connecting. I was spark plugging with her for sure. So anyway, all right, guys, have a great rest of your day. And um, thank you so much for joining me. And again, I'm taking off tomorrow. And tonight is our take a look call. And our take a look call is going to be done a little bit differently. We're going to be Zoom, but we're going to be streaming into our corporate Facebook page. So you do not have to come on Zoom. Just plant, have everybody land in the corporate, on the corporate Facebook page at 9 o'clock Eastern time, which is 7 and 8 o'clock, Mountain and Central. And they will watch the Zoom live. So they will actually be able to see Zoom live. So um, again, it's a, it's a new, it's new way of, it's, it's new technology and um, we're really thrilled that we're going to be able to do it this way. Um, all right. Listen, thank you so much guys for taking your lunch with me. I appreciate everybody that just stays put. Um, I just appreciate you all. I mean, seriously, I appreciate you all so much and I'm here for you. I know you guys know that, but I need to say, oh, I do want to give you one other tip. I'm sorry. There was another tip that I wanted to give you. Okay. Remember on Saturday. And you can scoot because this is, yeah, this is a tip for Lemongrass Spa. Remember on Saturday, one of my tips was I put my blush on first and then I put my foundation and I saw my blush soften. I'm like, oh, I so love the softer look on my cheeks. Well, today what I did is I took our minerals foundation and you know, I'm not, I'm not a fan of using your fingers on your face for anything. So when I sell the BB cream, I always sell a brush. I just, for a variety of reasons, we've gone into it. If you need me to do a, a demo on that one day, I'll do it. However, today I grabbed the mineral foundation because I was in a hurry and I needed to um, do it, use it as a cover up. And when I use Bare Minerals, Leslie, who started the Bare Minerals family, I like to always use the first names of people that, and it makes me seem like I know her, but I don't, but her name is Leslie. She used to teach how to take the mineral foundation and use it as cover-up. Well, I know that um, Heidi has the mineral foundation cover-up, and it's a different texture. So it has a, a little bit better sticky to it. Well, today I was in a hurry, so and I use that, by the way, with a brush. But I remember Leslie from Bare Minerals saying about the oils on your fingers making your foundation, if you want to use it as a cover-up, making it, you know, cover-up better. So this is what I did, guys. I went ahead and took the mineral foundation. It was in my in my my saucer, my lid, which I call the, the swoosh bowl. And I took my finger and I just patted it like this, very intently patted it, just like this. And it it stuck better to my fingers because my, you know, your skin's oily. And then I went ahead and just pushed it in on my on my two age spots. I have more than to just just I have more to cover, conceal, but I have two age spots that just can't lighten up. Well, they lighten a little bit, but they just still seem better. So I pressed it in like this, and OMG, it absolutely worked. I mean, I don't know if you can see, it just, I probably pushed it away, but it just absolutely covered. So I just went like this, I pressed it in, and I guess the oil on my fingers, and pressing it this way, and then, and I did it a couple times, you know, and just patted, patted, patted with a little more pressure, and then when I did the, um, and of course I had the blush on already, and then when I did the mineral foundation, it was hidden. I loved it. So that might be a tip that you give at your facials. Yes, 
people can purchase the cover up, but if they're in a hurry or maybe they just have one pimple that popped up, one blemish that popped up, that's a way to teach them. They can take, wash their hands, get them clean, put a little bit, the little's in the cap, they push down. And again, as I pushed down, I could tell that it was grabbing onto it a little bit better because I knew I was breaking up the minerals, but I was also attaching it to my finger, which was oily. So then I pushed and, you know, patted, tap, 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 did some more tap, 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 and I could not see that age spot whatsoever. So that's a tip. Um, Hillary said, how would you apply the pink stick with a brush? Um, you know what, Hillary? Anytime you use anything that stick, that that has a tendency to drag uh, because it's cold, and I and I learned this from um, from using chapstick because sometimes when you use chapstick, it if it's in your purse and it's cold, it like drags on your lips and it's just not, it just doesn't feel good. You have to keep going back and forth, and the reason you go back and forth is because the warmth of your lips starts to melt the tube of chapstick. So I discovered with our, um, our, actually our eyebrow pencil, our eyeliner pencil, that I would draw a circle on my hand. I just kept drawing a circle and I could see the eye, the eye liner pencil. It would soften up by the circle. Some people said that they take a, um, a match and they do the flame, etc. I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't want to be near, near matches. We had our house burned down. So I tried to stay away from any flame, but I knew the warmth of my hand. And with that point, it started to smear. So what I did is I discovered my concealer sticks do the same thing. So it would be the pink stick. What you would do, um, Hillary, is you could use this as a palette. In fact, when I teach my, my makeup classes, I teach that this is a palette. So you can put your BB cream here and then you could take your brush. So with a pink stick, you go back and forth and the warmth of the top of your hand makes the stick start to melt. Reminds you a little bit of the healing element stick, which creates a little bit of a mess, but you get the, you get the, you get the impression. And then you go ahead and take your brush and you, it's like, you know, you've got a little bit of a, of a round circle of the pink stick and then you take your brush around it and then you use your brush that way. I just don't like to put the sticks directly on my face for a couple reasons. First of all, it just tugs at my skin. But second of all, um, there's bacteria and you're rolling that stick down and you're putting the bacteria back in the stick. So that's just me. Um, and I would rather teach it that way and let other people make their own decision to say, oh, she's going to the extremes. Well, maybe I am. But for those that don't want transferring a bacteria back and forth, that's one way to never worry about it. Never, you know, worry about it and things like that. But anyway, so um, anyway. All right, so I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks again for, um, oh, Jennifer, go back, girl. Go back to the beginning. I think everybody will say to you, you want to start this, rewind, because there's the beginning is every bit as important at the end. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day. Um, make it a magical Monday, and let's continue to work each day to make to see the results of the things that we're chatting, we're chatting about. All right, bye, guys.